It's about to get Gabby AF. We about to get Gabby AF, Gabby AF. We about to get Gabby AF, Gabby AF. It's nothing less because you rocking with the best. Now we about to get Gabby AF. All right, hello and welcome to Gabby AF. And I am joined by one of my favorite WWE superstars right now, who's absolutely killing it. Miss Bailey, thank you so much for joining me on Gabby AF today. I'm so excited to have you. Thank you. You can call me Bailey AF. Bailey AF. I actually really like yeah. that. I mean, you yeah. do you do you know what AF stands for? I always ask my guests, and it's always well, kind of to throw fun to throw at them. I mean, you, you, I'm, I'm assuming because you asked that that it means something else than what it typically means. <laughs> no, it means exactly oh, okay. what you think. I'm from oh, New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. It means okay. it means exactly that. So okay. we don't play around cool. here. I figured you'd fit in well with that. So yeah, I like that. <laughs> so Bailey, we'll get right to it. I mean, you have a big match coming up at SmackDown against Miss Bianca Belair, who you've had some history with. I will just say we've bit. we've just a little bit. So little bit. I mean, and I mean, you kind of have a lot of pressure. You know, damage control. You're the leader. They're like, you got to right. set the precedent for us. So w what's your mindset going into that match this Friday? I honestly, I know the fans are laughing at this, that we're doing this match again. And it is hilarious, but it's like Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero had a million matches together because they're all just like classic. So, of course, they just got to sit down and relax and enjoy. Um, I don't know who else I would start my year with than with Bianca Belair. You know, I ended my year with her. I got to start my year with her. It's like, right. you know, we're married to each other for a while. I think that uh, EO started the year out hot for damage control on a we're on a winning streak we're one and zero in 2024 so uh, yeah it's a little bit of pressure to keep that going as fans know i don't have the best win loss record at the moment but it's a new year new year new me bailey af and oh, i'm yeah. gonna beat bianca Belair. i can't wait to see it do you feel any of that you know that pressure obviously damage control is looking at you as that person is there any you know going into it like is there kind of a shift if you did happen to not to not beat Bianca that you're going to go back and kind of it might be a little nerve wracking for you? Yeah, a little bit because it's like um, I'd feel a little embarrassed, you know, like they, I'm supposed to be the, this person that they look up to and I'm supposed yeah. to be someone that they learned from and that they could watch and be like, oh, that's how she did that. Oh, OK. But if I fail then they're what it's like watching their big sister, like not accomplish what she set out to do. And how does that set a good tone for the rest of the team you know so um, right. yeah I feel a little bit of pressure but I've been training very hard all week so you know one week's got to do it right I think I yeah. finally figured out how to beat Bianca <laughs> oh you did okay yeah I well, think so I won't I won't tell you how I'll just show you're you not guys. gonna tell me all right maybe I'll I wouldn't tell anybody text okay text me later okay that, that's okay. perfect uh I will say somebody that was on the bump um, recently, Mr. Nick Aldis said some high. He first of all, he started off complimenting you very well, and he said he's a big okay. fan of yours. You're one of his favorite competitors in the WWE. Obviously, I think everybody would say that, you know. But he also said he thinks that the dynamic between Damage Control has really shifted recently. And in quote, said, "Not fully sure that we're seeing from Bailey publicly what reflects what's really going on on the inside." So, wow. what are your thoughts Ooh, on that? Therapist? Yeah, Is he right. Kind of my therapist, Nick Aldis. Okay. I see he starts off with a cushion and compliments me and then really tries to dive in deep. Um, look, what you see is what you get with Bailey, okay? And that's that's it. I everybody had these like weird speculations when I was teamed, you know, when I was teaming with Sasha Banks and everyone's like, Oh, you better watch your back, you better watch your back. But like you guys just just you guys see what you see on TV, all right? They don't know how we are. In, in right. the backstage area, they don't know that, like, we eat lunch and catering together every day. They don't know that I carry their bags and give them rides wherever they want. They appreciate those things, right? It's fine. And I'm still their leader. You heard on SmackDown. Right. They call me their leader. So we're well, in good hands. So we're calling false, false on the mix of a di of a dynamic shift on damage control. Yeah, we're calling out Nick Aldis that he's not true. Yeah, he's still new to the game. What is he talking? He's new on this show. Get out of here. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Well, you know, sorry, Nick. You better get your facts straight next time you want to come after yeah. one of the greats in Bailey. You know yeah, what I mean? You better Obviously. make sure that I don't go tell his wife on him. Ooh. You know, I'm very good friends with Mickey James, by the way. So oh, okay. Me just too. Just saying. So yeah. She's gonna she's she'll be definitely on our side. 
you think so speaking of mickey i wasn't going to bring this up but while we're talking about the wife of nick aldis you know obviously royal rumbles in a couple of weeks do wow. you foresee are there any surprises you might want would you want to see maybe a mickey james with a surprise entrance is there anybody that you're kind of like you want to beat the crap out of in the ring if you do declare yourself for the rumble and you are part of that well, I I have declared myself, and I declared myself the winner already. So yeah. be ready for that. So whoever wants to surprise, do a surprise entrance, just get ready to get thrown out by me. So uh, Mickey James is always awesome. I would love to see her again. You know, her her music hits hard. Yes. Um, Trish and Lita are always so fun to get those reactions. Although they were just you know around not too long ago, they're still good reactions. Um, and one of the interviews I just had, they brought up AJ Lee since you know CM mm. Punk is here. I mean, I wouldn't mind that. I mean, I might actually let her throw me over the top rope if she came back. Wow. Okay. That's how much I respect her. That's that's pretty amazing. Another person that's being thrown around is um is maybe the return of Naomi, who obviously you're very familiar oh, with. How would you feel about right. that? I would love that. I, but she eliminated me once in a WrestleMania from um WrestleMania Battle Royal or something. So I'd be I'd just steer clear of her. But it would be fun to watch her come back. Yeah. You don't forget anything, I guess, right? No, you I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I, 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 hold, I hold grudges, all right? Who's who's the biggest grudge that you hold against right now? Like, who's that person that you, no matter what, if they came back from anywhere, you are ready to throw hands no matter what? <laughs> <laughs> if they came back, like, if they're not here, I mean, yeah. uh, I, I, just because I can't think of anybody, I'm going to say Naomi because she hits people in the face oh. with her butt. That's yeah. Like a, you know, that's a little degrading. I mean, I, if you have it, though, you might as well use it. That's how I feel that's about true. it. That's you know, true. You, know, you got to use your strengths. That. You respect that. Guys, we have a problem. Recent studies have shown that testosterone levels are falling in American men. Low T is linked to depression, low sex drive, and weight gain. So it's important to stay on top of it. You could go to a TRT clinic, but it's expensive, awkward, and in most cases, not necessary. You just need to stimulate your body's own natural testosterone production. It's time to check out the ultimate test stack at LegacySubs.com. The majority of testosterone release occurs while you sleep, which is why the ultimate test stack features their best-selling sleep aid, Recovery PM. Test X9 stimulates testosterone, T-Assist inhibits estrogen, and Recovery PM gives you the best night's sleep you've ever had. You're going to feel like a new man after trying the ultimate test stack for 30 days. If you don't believe me, check out all the verified five-star reviews on Top Rated. Legacy Sports Nutrition is founded by three-time world champion and SmackDown general manager, Mr. Nick Aldis, and 11-time women's champion and future Hall of Famer, Mickey James. And they personally use these products themselves. If you need more assurance, they're NSF certified, third-party lab tested, and made in the USA in an FDA-inspected facility. And because you listen to this show, you can save 10% off your order at LegacySubs.com now by using Gabby at checkout. That's G-A-B-B-Y. That's LegacySubs.com. L-E-G-A-C-Y-S-U-P-P-S.com. It's time to level up with legacy. I know we're 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 hitting a lot of things here because you've been in the news recently too. I'm a big football fan, obviously, oh, okay. as are you. And this is what I really wanted to talk to you about. Obviously, pro wrestling, everything's great, but you talk about wrestling to everybody, and I like to talk about some other things on here. But okay. I'm a Niners fan as well. My best friend actually oh, works yeah. for the 49ers. So really? I got a lot of merch. I got a lot of cool gear and stuff. So <laughs> I want them. She actually gets a ring if they win the Super Bowl. So I kind of just want them oh, to win so yeah. I could wear a ring or something. But yeah. you were just recently at the game uh, with Kittle, who's a big pro wrestling fan, and you got to give him that title and stuff. How was that experience? That was so cool. He's just it, I, honestly, it was way too fast because he was so he's super busy, even though he wasn't playing. He's super busy and he's saying hello to his wife and he's saying hello to the fans and all this stuff. So what I thought was going to be like a couple minute meeting and a cool video. And it just turned out to be like 15 seconds. I was like, ah, right. but it was still really cool. I think uh, for him, because he is a wrestling fan, like those titles are, re they're the real deal to have his two love. Oh yeah. The front, you know, have the Niners and the back has the WWE um, logo all over it. So I, hopefully he took it home. I'm not sure if he left it in the locker room, like above his locker or if he God, took it home and it. put it on his mantle, who knows. But I just wanted that to be like an early congratulatory 
because I'm putting it out there that they're going to win the Super Bowl. Dude, they look good, man. I'm just, just yeah, saying. I mean, they do. And then you'll win the Rumble. They'll win the Super Bowl. Right. Then and we're going to have gonna... a Bay Area parade. Yeah. A Bay, a Bay Lee Area parade. Yeah. You know I mean, exactly. like a ba- yes. AF, AF yes. at the end. Bailey right. AF. No, Bailey Parade AF. Can I come? Can I invite myself? You're invited. You're definitely oh, invited. Oh, wow. All right. Well, now I'm rooting for it. I would get my own float. I might need it. I'm not the smallest. So I would get my own float, but <laughs> we'll just get a big AF float. And then people will yeah, know. Yeah. But... You just ride the F. <laughs> the F, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, so obviously when you win the Rumble, you're not going to want to go against EO, right? It's going to be all about, you're going to challenge Rhea, yeah. right? Of course. Rhea, yes. Yeah. Well, EO already has a title. So it's basically like I'm kind of like part champion as well. But right. once EO has a title, Kabuki Warriors, we're going to get them those tag titles because it's what they deserve. And I'm going to have a title. Then we got to f- figure out, you know, when Dakota comes back, which right. title she could take. Maybe we'll, we'll take the NXT women's title off of uh, Lyra. Why not? Why not? You've never seen a faction of especially women. All champions? Come on. That is money. Insane. Insane. I mean, I will say, I think from where you guys started at the beginning of the year to where you are now is so cool to see you've really become this powerhouse of a female faction. How much yeah. fun have you had with these girls and like what you've done? Because it's been a while now and you've really like cemented yourself as like n- not girls to be messed with. So like how cool yeah. is it for you to be with these people and to get to where you are with them now? It's so much fun. It's so much fun for like the goofy person in me. And then just so much fun as a professional to be able to be like, oh, my God, like, look at these women of wrestlers that I'm aligned with that are like, they think I'm cool enough to like be on my team. You know, like, I feel yeah. like I I made it because they want to be around me. So professionally, it is it's an honor to be with them. Um, but also personally, it's, they're just like the funniest people. And I get to watch that, like, you know, Kyrie and Asuka, they could have their own damn talk show, like their own uh, real life show because they're just so funny and goofy and cute together. Um, and Dakota's hilarious backstage too. So when we're all together, it's like all of our real life goofiness just floods and it's so much fun. I wish we can do it more like on the non-televised shows, like the live events we do on the weekends because it's the best time. I feel like you could tell a difference in you too when you're actually enjoying what you're doing like as as like a viewer and a fan watching it's so much easier to be invested in those kinds of factions and those kinds of groups because you could tell you guys actually genuinely enjoy being around each other and you're not just there to be there and I think that's why it works as well as it does so once again I don't know what Nick's talking about because I think you guys are stronger than you've ever been so I'm I'm excited for the reign of Bailey and damage control I think you guys are about to take over but uh, yes, it's going to be a big know. year for us. Yeah. And so, another, this is now also a random because, you know, <laughs> we were talking about George Kittle and another team that you really like, because I have to ask this before we wrap, because if I didn't, I would regret it. So I know okay. you're a big Warriors fan as well. And, yes. you know, Draymond Green has been, you know, talking about retiring. He's kind of been getting some heat because he likes to get a little aggressive, you know, recently. Right. Do you think there's a place for a Draymond Green in the WWE? Would you ever tag with him? Maybe damage control could <laughs> use, you know, a, a muscle like a Draymond Green just to, yeah, just to his, mess people his up. His ruthlessness. I mean, Ruthless. we like to break. Yeah, we like to break <laughs> rules. So, uh, and and but we get away with it. So we'd kind of have to like teach him how to like break rules and get away with it, or he choke someone out and get away with it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I think I think there's always a place for someone like him, an athlete like him with such a big personality yeah. in the WWE. But if we can get him in damage control, then the world needs to watch out. So we're going to put a title on that bad boy, too. Oh, he would just make a title happen for himself because he's just that kind of person. Right. But Kittle, yeah. or Dr- Kittle or Green, who would you rather? Oh, no. You're going to make me. Oh, my God. You guys are going to make me my Bay Area beat me up. Um area boys i'm gonna have to go with kittle because he's just got that momentum right now yeah yeah i mean yeah i could see that i think he's i could see it i mean i love when there's the crossover of sports when someone does come in from a different like era of something and then like they make it known in the wwe because athleticism and just like crossing over two worlds is just the coolest thing and kittle just seems like a cool dude like he seems like someone who would be great for the entertainment 
aspect of pro wrestling as well and athletic wise obviously he's a beast so that right was, I mean, yeah, well, he did like a quick like spot in um wrestlemania last year yeah like, popped over the guardrail with pat mcafee so i'm like he already got a taste i'm sure he wants more listen a mixed tag team of you and kittle i would take That's my money I'm right saying. now i'll watch that That's shit like I'm come saying. on <laughs> <laughs> all right guys wwe let's do it I mean, I'm just making the ideas. I don't work for WWE, but I do think some of my ideas are pretty great. So, yeah. Listen, Bailey, if I'm ever hired, I'll take care of you. So we'll we'll just work it out that way. That's all I need. All right. I need a little. <laughs> I need some political pull. Can I be back. Damage Control's manager? You know what I mean. I'll just yes. I'll just make all the notes and and help you guys out and make sure everything. I good thought happens. you were gonna say make all the food. I can make food too. I'm Italian, so I'll make whatever you like. Okay, perfect. We love pasta. It's all the pasta and pizza. I'm from Jersey, so it's like the bagels and oh. the pasta and the pizza. Okay. I'll fatten you guys up a little bit before you go out and wrestle, so it'll be interesting. Perfect. Yeah, that's fine. Everything will hurt less. It will. It's the cushion. You have to yeah. cushion for the pushing. You know what I mean? Yes. Right. can't believe I just said that to you. Um, this, is, this is the best episode I've ever done. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, also, you know, I, I, I want to talk about a little bit something else that's kind of hit the news recently. Like, what are your thoughts on someone who's kind of been in trending as of recent is Jinder Mahal and kind of what's been going on with him in the WWE? Do you have <laughs> any take on that? I love Jinder. I'm a big fan. And I think yeah, what he's I been doing Jinder. is awesome. So I would love to get your take on that as well. I just think wrestling is the coolest and the funniest, you know, like, and the best thing about Twitter and wrestling fans, I think wrestling fans more so than any other sport, just love giving their opinion and think they're the right, like they're always yeah. right, you know, like yes. that's how they feel. Um, so it's, to me, it's entertaining to watch. And it's also like awesome to see people care this much about wrestling, you know, or to right. care this much to, it makes you want to tune in. Like if you don't even, if you're not a WWE fan like that, well, now I kind of want to see what they're going to do. Or yeah. if you're not a fan of, you know, watching Dynamite, you, you kind of want to tune in and see, are they going to like, you know, do something back? Like it's, it just makes it fun. And I think that's what we're all here to do. And it just makes more money. <laughs> Hell yeah. Jinder and it loves just, money. Who doesn't love money, Bailey? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Okay. Great, great <laughs> question. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I've had so much fun with you. I know you have a lot of other things to do. You got to gear up for your match. You got a lot of things going on. You got all the damage control so girls. Much. You got to put them in line. You got a lot to go right. on. But I appreciate you making the time for me. And I hope there's more of us to chat and and, and more to come with you because I loved this so much. I hope you had a good yes, time. Me too. I did. That was a good little sandwich cushion interview. It's, I'm all about the sandwiches. It's Italian. Right. I make sandwiches basically every day. So I know how to do it. I'm a pro that at this. Amazing. this is, okay. Well, this is, I'm glad you got ahead and I thought you had the best AF interview I've had in a while. So I hope you had wow. the same amount of fun. That was, yes, I did. Thank you so much. Wow. So I absolutely loved that interview with Bailey. Um, she said a lot in just that short amount of time about what we're going to be expecting from her and kind of like some little nuggets of things that she wanted to say. Something interesting that definitely stood out to me was that her biggest grudge that she holds off someone is against Naomi, well, Trinity, as in now with her with TNA. So I know it's out there that, you know, she may be making that return to the WWE, which I would absolutely love to see. Obviously, you know, her husband works at the WWE, so it's kind of a natural fitting for her to come back. But I think what she's done for herself by going to TNA as Trinity and really making um, an impact there, no pun intended, an impact at impact, um, would be cool. Like, I would love to see her make that return at the Royal Rumble. And now knowing that Bailey wants to take her and throw her off the top rope, that makes things interesting for me that she's going to have it out for her. So that's kind of cool. Obviously, the mention of Mickey is always a great thing. Um, coming after coming after Mr. Nick Aldis and his comments, which I think is hilarious. And now there's reason for Mickey to come after Bailey. You know, you're talking about her man. This is what happens. Uh, it's a lot of room for fun things to happen. And I just love what this is doing for the women's division in the WWE. And I said this to Bailey and I will double down and say this, what damage control was in the beginning was not w even close to where it is now. Um, I will say as a fan, I wasn't a hundred percent invested in damage control when it was just EO and Dakota and Bailey. I was kind of like, where are they going with this? This is not, you know, I, I'm really not into it. And I really wasn't into it, which is funny because that's exactly how I felt about Judgment Day when it first came around and look at Judgment Day now and my feelings towards it. But 
Um, I think where they've taken it and kind of what they're doing with it is making a huge, huge waves um, in the WWE on SmackDown in the women's division because they're a pretty solid faction of badass women with Bailey being the leader. Um, I have seen some cool things all over the place with people that are really throwing Bailey as their their person to win the Women's Royal Rumble. And I don't hate that idea. What I would find interesting if is if she makes that turn on EO if she does win the Rumble. And that's who she's going to want to go after. Because that, you speak about a dynamic change, that would really be interesting. And that would be the betrayal of all betrayals, right? You're the leader of this group and now you're turning against the champion when you're all supposed to be holding these championships and the titles. So that would really, really mix things up. Uh, but I, like, I think the story would have to be right. I think you'd have to see cracks in the foundation before it gets to a major moment like that. Within two weeks, I don't know if they could tell that story perfectly or it's just going to be one big hit of a drastic turn, which maybe could be a sell for me. But like I said, it's all about emotion. It's all about this one turning on this one or, you know, the height of um, where they want to take it. I, I wouldn't mind seeing <laughs> damage control kind of hold all, all the titles and just being that crazy strong faction. But now that Bailey's my best friend and I've been invited to her Bailey 2024 AF, you know, parade after the Niners win the Super Bowl, like she suggested, I kind of want her to win because then that's just kind of, I'm by association, best friends with the women's Royal Rumble winner. So selfishly I'll, I'll pick, take Bailey to win and not hate it. But I, I love what Bailey's doing. She is by far someone that I think is a locker room leader and she's a natural leader, especially with what she's doing with damage control. I think she's highly underappreciated in the WWE. Um, and she even said it, her win loss record, even with Bianca is not the best. And her win loss record this past year hasn't been the great, exactly how she's wanted it. Right. But I have always been a fan of Bailey when she was Uber baby face Bailey. When now that she's, you know, kind of this, annoying heel like kind of badass bailey too i i'm sold on kind of everything she does she will always be that bailey to me that was part of that nxt women that just dominated the space and i will always have that kind of respect for her and i always look at her as someone kind of above the rest and i don't say that about everybody and every female in the wwe but it is something i really admire about her so could this year be bailey's year why why the fuck not you know what I mean? She's doing the work. She's on on SmackDown with these women all the time. I'm, I would love to see it. And I think that would really shake things up for the women's division to kind of, you know, put the shine on Bailey and and see what she can do with it and see what she can run with it because she does have this pressure of being the leader. And I think it could be interesting. So I'm excited for it. And I loved her. her. Listen, if she wins the Women's Royal Rumble, maybe we'll see George Kittle. And I know you might not all be Niners fans. But that would be a huge crossover for the NFL. You know, who cares about Travis Kelsey? Give me George Kittle. I'll be a little bit more excited if he shows up at a WWE event. Um, again, like she said, he did show up last year. But give me the give me the Niners if they win the Super Bowl. Just show up at a WWE event for Bailey would be a pretty cool sight to see. So I wouldn't hate it. And. Yeah, I absolutely loved that interview. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um, I really, really want to thank Bailey again for taking the time to talk to me. I know she's super busy, you know what I mean? But um, I hope you guys enjoyed that interview. And like I said, always tag some people you want me to interview. I'm going to try to make some cool interviews for 2024. This is going to be the year. So give me some of your thoughts. Tag me in everything. Hashtag Gabby AF on Twitter, at Gab Lispisa on Instagram at Gabby AF pod on Instagram. And I'd love to hear from you guys. I want to make this a show that we all want to listen to. We're a family here and we're all friends. So anything, any thoughts that you have, throw them at me and I will try to listen and I will try to help. And we got some good things coming. So thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed. And as always be good to one another and let's have some fun. Love you most. No backs. I'll see you next week. It's about to get Gabby AF. We about to get Gabby AF, Gabby AF. We about to get Gabby AF, Gabby AF. It's nothing less, cause you rockin' with the best. Now we about to get Gabby AF.